Number four is starting with a normal force. Number 17 runs a distance of 48 yards, and number 17 catches the ball, stopping its inertia. He's big enough. He's big enough. Eight seconds. The rubber grips of the player's gloves creates a coefficient of friction that helps allow him to have better control of the ball. The trajectory aimed at the teammate who catches the ball and brushes the opponent aside the greater net force. Second down now. Deep strike. Got the big man. Cut. The lack of friction on the hockey rink allows the hockey puck to maintain its average velocity and direction. The hockey player accelerates from his position and slides to the other side, displacing him away from his teammates. watching how Barnes is done right here. But the thing that really sets her apart is that skill... The gymnast moves in a parabolic motion around the bar, bending it due to her weight, then releasing it creates an instantaneous velocity, also changing her range. Coming up right here, she's going to do a full spin. And now it's really there she goes. Right here. Oh, one more. And, a half turn. Oh, one more time. and, just never and again. No, one more time. Now tell me this doesn't look like someone playing on a, a playground. Uh oh, she's still flying going. around. <laughs> she's taking to the do. flying. She's going to fly down to the low bar. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful <laughs> execution. And the whole time, those ankles are glued together. And trust me, that is not an easy thing to do throughout this very difficult set. Just the dismount. Routine after routine. Oh! Oh, baby. The curler forces the ball forward using the second law of motion. Then using the first law of motion, the curlers sweep away any chunks of ice that would slow down the ball. The curling ball then hits the other curling balls, forcing them in the opposite direction along the same line of action as stated in the third law of motion.